SAP Jobs 100% Guaranteed. I am going to tell about SAP MDG interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one, what do you mean by SAP MDG? So, SAP MDG refers to SAP Master Data Governance. This is an advanced approach to master data management technology that offers out-of-the-box master data management to centralize the creation, modification, and distribution of master data with the enterprise infrastructure or integration of master data. Questions number two, what are the different SAP products? So, following are the products included in SAP. SAPS slash for HANA. It allows organizations to optimize decision-making and speed up productivity with a digital core, which supports all the critical business processes. SAP Cloud Platform, it produces and develops applications with cloud infrastructure software like PaaS. SAP HANA, it distributes the business intelligence, simplifies the business operations as well as the IT environment, which holds all the data of the organization. Questions number three mention the differences between master data, metadata, and transaction data. So, master data, this includes essential business information like employee information, customer information, and material information. This data is the same as the reference data. For example, suppose a consumer buys 10 units of your product instead of requesting the customer's delivery address 10 times. In that case, the same information may be extracted from the client's master data. Metadata, metadata is information relating to other data that includes information or meta objects. Transaction data, it provides the details of everyday transactions. Questions number four, what is NetWeaver? So, NetWeaver is a built-in technology platform that allows all MySAP Suite products to operate on a single NetWeaver instance called SAP Web Application Server. The great thing about using NetWeaver is that SAP data can be accessed through the web, HTTP protocol, and even mobile. This way, we can save on the costs associated with training users on the SAP client GUI. Questions number 5 list some benefits of SAP MDG. So, following are some of the benefits of SAP MDG. Standard tools to ensure the quality of information. Checking the duplicates. Data collection and cleanup. Business analytics. Transparency regarding information changes. Transparency in the flow of data. When, what, and who. Questions number six list some drawbacks of SAP. So, it costs so much. It requires highly trained people. It takes time to implement. The interfaces are somewhat complex. It does not identify where the master data is located. Questions number seven, tell me about the scope of master data. So, following are the scopes of master data. Creation, modification, search and display of the individual material master data. Extensive inclusion of out-of-container material credit that includes information on focal and order and authoritative unit information. Amendments in master processing. File transfer. Questions number 8. What is baseline data in SAP AR and AP? So, baseline data refers to the payment terms that apply. Normally, the baseline data is the date of the document on the invoice but it also may be the date of passage or posting of the ledger. Questions, number 9, define a variable. So, variables are query parameters set in the parameters query description that is not populated with values prior to entering the queries into the workbook. Following are the types of variables. Default or user entry type. Processing type. Replacement path. Text. Formulas. Questions number 10. What is the difference between online analytical processing and data mining? So, online analytical processing is a monitoring platform that is designed to understand the measurements, schema, and compositional facts within the database. Data mining is a data analysis method for finding stable correlations or systematic relations among variables. Questions number 11. What is the role of ODS in BIW? 
So, at the document level, the ODS object is used for storing debugged and consolidated transaction records. This is a term which refers to a data set grouped from one or more data sources. This data collection may be analyzed through an InfoSet or BEX query. A Delta update may update data from an ODS object to InfoCube's objects or other ODS objects on the same device or through systems. Compared to the multidimensional data storage of InfoCubes, ODS objects store the data in transparent and flat database tables. Questions number 12. What is BDC? So, BDC refers to batch data communication. Methods of BDC are Call transaction Batch input session Direct input Questions number 13. How do the set and get parameters differ? So, generally, set parameter is used in PAI events to a screen. The user may have given some value for a field. Once we check the accuracy of this value, we can use the set parameter ID in the PAI. The GET parameter is used in the PBO event. During PBO, the screen for display will be prepared for the users. On the screen, some fields must be filled with some default values. The default values are the values that are entered for that particular field during the logon into the SAP system. Questions number 14. How is the cash allocation of a receivable account different in the? So, let us assume an invoice A456 is sent for $100, and if the customer pays $70, it will offset the invoice with a practical bill by leaving a balance of $30. In residual payment, when the customer pays $70, the invoice A456 for $100 will be cleared and a new invoice line item will be generated for $30, the remaining balance. Questions number 15. What are the standard steps for implementing SAP Payment Run? So, following are the standard steps to implement SAP Payment Run. Entry of parameter, it covers the vendor accounts, business codes, payment systems, etc. Proposal scheduling, the system generates a set of invoices to be charged. Booking of payment, individual payments will be recorded in the ledger. Printing the payment form. Questions number 16, what are the common transport errors? So, following are the frequent transport errors. Return code 4, it indicates imported warnings, program generation, and columns or missing rows. Return code 8, it indicates imported syntax, program error generation, dictionary activation error, etc. Return code 12, it shows that import is aborted as the object is inactive or missing. Return code 18, it shows that import is aborted because of the system failure while importing. Questions number 17, what are the business challenges in SAP MDG? So, following are some of the challenges that the companies face. Confirm that the ROI is implemented in SAP MDG. Solving master data quality issues related to business critical processes. Make sure that the master data management process and rules are appropriately regulated. Dive into the business model and master data management operations. Questions number 18 Explain the method to process consumer data in SAP MDG. So, the work methods have led to the creation and modification of clients. Change requirements guide the acceptance period and endorse new or modified information. Work lists make changes as needed. Changes Thanks to be for reviewed watching. are recorded. We are here to Where boost necessary, your career. Multipurpose user interfaces and approvals can be adapted to every stage of the work process. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.